What's going on, Capricorn? Welcome back to the Jewelry Box. It's your girl, Empress Jim, here to drop those jewels. No, guys, I am not here for your spirit says message. I am here for your monthly energy checking. Yes, your girl is back with the monthlies. Whoop, whoop. So, this will be for June 2022, general message. So, please take what's for you, leave the rest behind, interact, and I might come back. You know, you might get a message. You know, I keep trying to tell folks, you know, that's how we pick up energy here on these channels as, um, us intuitive, psychics, empaths, energy healers, whatever the hell you want to call us, okay? Light workers, this is how we roll. You know, you like, you subscribe, you comment, you share. I mean, you could be somebody who repeated, like, watches all the time and we would still pick up on your energy when spirit says so and we'll deliver the message when you need to hear it. But y'all know how that rolls. So rock with your girl. If you're going to rock with me, rock with me strong, right? But um, check your sun, moon, rising, Venus, and your north node placements if it does not resonate. And cross watchers, you are always welcome. So <laughs> let's get into it. Capricorn. I heard hide and seek. You feel like something's hidden or some something feels like you're hidden? Um, I feel for a lot of you guys, you feel like um, you're not sure if you can start some sort of project or get on a journey by yourself but i'm seeing that you you do you have the strength um you have the endurance you have the means you understand what's going on um i feel like a lot of you are also in like the best state of mind like the best feeling you could ever possibly be like in a long time i feel like you haven't felt this good in a long time and i feel that um you could be really getting ready to cut out a lot of energy walk away from a lot of people and you're just prepared to start at something new again you want something new someone new in your life um but like I said, you've been holding it down by yourself. I feel that, you know, if it is about a relationship, don't be afraid to try again, to love again, okay? Um, I say it all the time when people say, hey, you know, you, you're divorced. <laughs> Are you going to get married again? Hell yeah. Somebody come back around, you know, whatever, and we fall in love. And that's if marriage is on the table, then hell yeah, I'm going to do that shit again. Like, I'm not afraid to love. I'm not afraid of honestly being hurt. You know, um, you have to try. You have to go at things and, you know, honestly pray for the best. But I mean, if what we would call the worst comes out of it, I mean, there's a lesson to learn in this situation. So, yeah, of course, I always tell people that, you know, I definitely, you know, get married again. Or it's like, you know, when I'm going through school shit and say I don't pass a class. Oh, I'm not. No, I'm not dropping out. I'm going to come back better than ever. Like, I know, like, it allows me to see well, what went wrong. Why didn't I pass this class? How did I fail this class? Like, I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. Quick, true story. In school, I failed the class by two points. Two points. And as much as, like, you know, the low vibrational aspects of me was like, fuck this shit. <laughs> Like, fuck that. I, I felt two points. They couldn't give me the two points to pass. But it was like, no, Jessica, because you need to go back and you need to reevaluate. Why did you not? Why didn't you earn those two points naturally yourself? So, of course, no, I did not give up. You know, I kept going. But um, it just really allowed me to say, well, you know, you was going through a lot. I don't even know how you passed the other classes. And, you know, you failed that one, you know, 333, three, three, as I'm saying this. But it allowed me to get myself aligned here and to, you know, really ascend. You know, I learned a lesson out of it. And, you know, it was like better time management is needed and less distractions. And, you know, telling people no, because, you know, that could be a, a hard thing for me sometimes is telling people no. So I say that to say, I guess, to you that... um. You could have somebody who is going to be shot because you're going to tell them no. As you heard that loud, my loud child in the background, like shock. This person is going to be shocked when you tell them no. Like you're not going to do it. You're not standing up for this. You're not doing that. You're putting your foot down because again, you're choosing yourself. That's why I'm looking at this bravery here, that Leo energy, that lion. You realize that you rule your kingdom here and can't nobody come and tell you how to regulate or do what the hell you're supposed to be doing when you've been holding it down and doing this shit for your damn self you get what i'm saying yeah you do so let's get into it you do have a new opportunity coming here okay and you're gonna hold on tight and hold back all right because you recognize at this point that you deserve these things okay and nobody needs to come in what i say about having that strength it's like this renewed energy over you like you're you're feeling yourself again Okay, you're realizing what it is I need to do. 
okay? You're listening to your higher self. You're no longer allowing the negative thoughts or the negative energies to attack and attach to you, okay? Yes, death, Scorpio energy. You are transforming yourself, okay? You call, what, you call judgment. That's what you did. Yep, you call judgment. You kept hope alive. You did a lot of healing, a lot of internal healing. The universe probably had to put your ass through a whole heap of shit. But yep, and you had to make a whole lot of sacrifices. But you kept hope alive. And look at where you at right now. In a beautiful place. It feels like that to me. So let's see. What do we got here for Capricorn for the month of June 2022? Divine Holy Spirit. We're going to pull six cards. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node. But so far, so good. Yeah, Capricorn, come through. Say, this shit is all about me, okay? Tell them. Say, and it's a 15, breaking down to a six. We're in the six, about balance. This is all about me, being in my element, me serving karma where it needs to be served, okay? Me balancing out my own karmas, okay? Me not falling to temptation, me operating from a higher vibration. People are addicted to your energy this month because you are glowing and it's showing, okay? I feel like you have a lot of knowledge. You are spitting true facts, true gems, true game to people, okay? And everybody is in like total shock and awe that you have all of this information. And it's like, oh my gosh, Capricorn, really? And it's like, yeah, like I'm more than just when everybody keep calling me the damn devil on tarot, like I'm not the devil all the way like i i've went through lessons and now it's like you're now speaking and telling people what you've been through so that they can understand as well so that you know you're hoping that these people don't make the same mistakes as you but again each one teach one you can only say and speak so much and if somebody still wants to go out and learn a lesson even though they don't got you know some sort of knowledge from you then that's on them okay right so let's see six calls we got two popping. We got the sacral chakra. So somebody could be getting ready to have some sex. There could be some sexual frustration. Okay. <laughs> yeah, mental conflict. We got another two here. That is Libra energy. You trying to decide if you really want to go after something or fuck with somebody. Okay. Or allow energy to come back into your life. Yep. And there's another two. Two, two, two. Okay. A lot of decision here, especially when it comes to spiritual union. You're trying to, for some of you guys, you're trying to decide if you want to sleep with somebody, if you really want to give somebody that type of energy. You're trying to figure out if you want to invest in somebody. Okay, a lot of you guys are trying to decide, like I said, if you want to allow somebody to come back into your life because you're in a really good position right now. Okay, you're in a balanced position and you feel that if somebody or a certain person or energy comes back around, it's going to throw you off. What's underneath? Yeah, you're trying to figure out if you want to lay something to rest, just not deal with something anymore. Yep, because you are the empress or the emperor. Towards Libra, even Aries energy here. But you realize that you found a motivation to birth something new into your own life. To be your own nurturer, your own supplier, okay? Um, you are back into your creative bag. You are back to doing things that fulfill you. A lot of you guys, you're taking a lot more time to focus on your children. To focus on your self-love, self-care, your inner and outer beauty, okay? You're getting grounded. You're getting rooted. Exactly. Going towards something new, a new opportunity here. And it's like, you're you're just like, no, like, I'm in a good place. And it's like, I feel like a lot of old energies want to come back around. And you're just like, no, like, when I was messing with you, I was jacked up. Yeah, somebody is putting you in a heavy mental conflict. Could be a cancer energy about your success here. Or like I said, somebody wanting to come through. And you're just trying to figure it out. Like, I don't know. Like, I'm in a really good space right now, especially a good mental space. It took a lot for me to ground out these thoughts that I had going within myself to really get myself grounded and rooted again. Find that motivation to get back up, get out and get some. And now it's like you've met people in your life who mean something that you value and who value you. But you got old energies that want to come back in, want to drive through, slide in real quick because they see you being successful here. See you being fertile. Yeah. But again, more Libra energy. You're just really trying to balance shit out. I feel like, you know, you're at this point where it's like you're not trying to deal with folks. Yeah, you done did the shadow work. You know about these people trying to come back around or the people that were around you that you probably haven't talked to in like the last, you know, I don't know. Four to, four to five months is what I'm hearing. You probably ain't talked to these people in like the last four to five months. Yeah. And now you're listening to your higher self, that crown chakra energy, messages from the divine. Double sevens here, two, two, two. Okay. Yeah. And here's 16 breaking down to a seven. So seven, 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 two, two, two. Lesson of a blessing. You realize that you don't learn the lessons here. Yeah. It's a heavy disruption here. A lot of people, like I said, somebody coming back around, but you don't already learn the lesson and you're balanced now. And you are, you know what it is when it comes down to the connections and the people who you're dealing with. 
fulfillment in your life. You are in alignment with this fertility energy, with this three. Tell me about this sacral energy here, please. Four R. Yeah, you're no longer being disappointed, okay? I feel like at one given point, like, you were really sad, like, probably could have even been depressed, didn't have your mojo, didn't know which way, if you were coming or you were going, didn't know your left from your right, your ups from your down, but things have changed for you here. More Scorpio energy, also Aquarius, Taurus, or Leo. Sorry about that, I got a little company, but... Yeah, like I said, you probably had lost your gojo, your mojo, whatever. But, like, that is changing now, okay? Um, you're having a more clear perspective. You know that you deserve better here. Um, and you've been watching. There's been a lot of people watching. You've been trying to, like, speak to a lot of people. Could even want to, like, or deciding to. You probably decided to speak to someone. Or you probably could have seen something or got some sort of knowledge here. And you're just like, this could have even been a younger Earth. Um, Earth, listen to me. Younger. Could have been. Younger Earth. But a younger ear sign who, you know, probably told you something. Something that was very stable, something very knowledgeable. You're probably really shocked and by what this person was able to tell you. But I feel like whatever they told you, it allowed you to see things from a clearer perspective here. Yeah, it allowed you to see where you were going kind of wrong, I guess. Or it's like um, where you thought where you were failing like you weren't. It was all a lesson here, all things that you had to learn. So it was like you are now reinvesting in yourself and you're getting your mojo your gojo back your motivation yeah you're going through this transformation this scorpio this death energy okay so now mm, that was two was it no it wasn't it was three this mental conflict yeah five of swords mental defeat you know somebody coming back around to fucking defeat you and get you caught up in a web could be an aquarius could be a virgo here yeah you already ghost this energy because again you were choosing yourself choosing to love on yourself okay a mo like I feel like you got feelings for this person. You care about this person. But you know that when this person comes back around, the only reason why they're coming in with this love offer or to act like, or acting like they care is because they want to fuck with you. You know that they're going to deceive you. This, this is deceiving ass energy. Yeah, who left you out in the cold, who tormented you, okay, who wants you to join the circus, okay, not my monkeys, not my circus. <laughs> yeah, see, and you know that you have better unions coming up and around you, okay, Aquarius, more Aquarius energy here. A lot of healing, a lot of detaching, and just a lot of knowing and understanding, very much so maturing in your thoughts here this month, okay, yeah, because you know what makes you happy, and you're going towards people, places, and things that make you happy, like I said, the illusions, stripping the illusions, you know that a relationship that you was dealing with also was only based off of possibly sex, fake emotions emotions um what you could do for this person okay yeah what you could do for this person they probably had multiple lovers or multiple energies also involved when it came to dealing with you and that could have kept you low because they were draining your energy to get to other people and they had to keep coming to you to replenish themselves yeah because you were very successful here two sixes you help bring balance into the situation and you know that and you're stripping the illusions off of this yeah you're making a change here you are capricorn you are definitely making a change here choosing to be the empress exactly going towards a real lover toward real soulmates towards real soul tribe energy towards individuals who will give to you okay possibly even towards a gemini but you're making better decisions here for yourself based off of your own life another six balancing yourself out okay with all that strength and courage that Leo energy here. Yep, you're making a decision. You're getting onto a new path. You got a new game plan. Okay, like I said, you probably got a blueprint, a business idea, something you want to start. But whatever you're looking for, I feel like it's also looking for you. You're going to find it this month. And even if that's finding that strength and courage within yourself again, that inner beauty, that outer beauty, feeling sexy again, keeping yourself dolled up or men keeping yourself lined up and looking good, smelling good. That's where you're going to be at. Yeah, you're no longer going to be oppressed. Like I, talking about the circus and the monkeys, those are like caged in animals you are no longer about to be caged in okay you're about to express yourself you're about to be free exactly triumph clarified by power sagittarius energy you're about to move the way you need to move okay with the sun of air speak how you want to speak mother of earth capricorn here you are and focus on leaving a legacy focus on having abundance in health and in wealth mental and physical okay Yes, the chariot again coming back around. That's what is clarifying. You're going to be very successful in loving yourself, standing up for yourself, speaking true and honestly to yourself. 
making good money moves here. All right. Building on these projects again, having all that confidence, because, again, you're getting messages from your higher self, more Leo energy, more confidence here. OK, finally having that strength to see things for what it is. OK, working on your own personal plans here. Earth energy here. You are again, Capricorn or a Taurus or a Virgo could be assisting you with this. But you're taking your time. You're realizing that, you know, what's best for you. Exactly. Virgo energy here with this nine of Pentacles. You know what's best for you. You being independent, you making the damn thing happen. You planting seeds and watering it and watching that shit grow and being proud of what it is that you've achieved for yourself. Yes, being brave, okay? And Capricorn, here you are putting in that work, 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 work. You gonna have hella options. You might be juggling a couple jobs and shit like that, but it is gonna lead you to something very lucrative here. Yup, abundance. And I wanted to say it's in the pinnacles. I need to keep speaking. Okay, yes, yeah, so make sure you keep speaking. I am. But you're gonna have a couple financial opportunities here, but you're gonna be abundant either way. Financially, physically, spiritually, mentally, all that, okay? So let's get your butterfly oracle to close you out. I'm surprised I put this deck away over here. Spirit, what do we have here for Capricorn? Close out their reading for June 2022. Capricorn. I heard, yeah, well, you saying I'm done with all that drama and shit. Say the drama for your mama. Thank you, Spirit. Mm-hmm. Ooh, somebody getting summertime. Fine, too. Or just accepting how you look. And realizing it's who you are. And if they don't love you, fuck them. Because you love you. And that's all that matters. Yep. End of an era. End of being down. Feeling out. Feeling like you ain't it. When you know you it. Okay. Okay now. But we got body changes here. Okay. And we got leaving. Yeah. You leaving all that negativity. All that negative energy behind. You are blossoming and growing here. You are loving yourself. Volunteer, you are giving more to people. You are giving your time and energy out. You're spending more time with family and friends. Okay, you're allowing help. You're allowing assistance here. And yep, join in. You're allowing the right energy in. The right energy. Loving energy. Kind energy. Fulfilling energy. Reciprocal energy. So, this has been your message, Capricorn. I hope it helps. You know I love your face. Until the next time we speak. Peace out.